Why, why do you think art is a good vehicle to promote animal rights? In a very, very, very basic way, cameras are banned in most animal exploitation scenarios. So one is either forced to go undercover um, or go in with a pencil. And going in with a pencil is an amazing experience where people who one is depicting, humans and animals, can see the process. And animals can certainly see the process. Art is about slowing time down. And for a slaughterhouse worker, for them to see themselves depicted opens up a dialogue whereby they start to communicate what they're doing and they can see the movements, their movements in a sketchbook. To say it's a soul destroying job is not even appropriate, but they can see themselves as participants in the slaughter. You know, I was drawing once in a, in a circus. I was just in the audience. I had the sketchbook and it was pretty dark. And the ringmaster saw me drawing and the whole <laughs> the spotlight went right on me. The collateral was me, not the animal. And it's the same in, in drawing in zoos, which I've done, is that children see zoo animals as entertainment, as not living beings. But when they see drawing of the animal, they immediately gravitate to the process of drawing. And when Rembrandt did the elephant, you know, this incredible elephant drawing, one of the first, he would have seen that for the first time. We're now seeing through his eyes. We're not looking into Rembrandt's eyes and thinking, well, what was Rembrandt thinking? We're seeing what the elephant is thinking from 400 years ago. The drawing lives in that moment and also in moments that leap over centuries. And that's the power of culture is that it just twists the mind into not what you think you're seeing, but what is seeing you.